Now let's get started by letting me give you a little bit of a scenario of what my life is all about. I tell you, it's hard to imagine in the year 2017 that a piece of coastal property here in California uh, near wine country would have been used as a dumping ground uh, by the local residents. But uh, sure enough, here in this little town of Fort Bragg, this used to be a dump. For uh, over 50 years, residents of Fort Bragg were allowed to dump garbage over the cliff here into the ocean. Uh, as part of a dump. So people brought tr old tractors, old parts, uh, a lot of glass and bottles. And all of those bottles uh, over the course of another 50, 60 years have gotten smashed and weathered into shiny, well, not necessarily shiny, but into small pieces of soft glass. And uh, that is why uh, most of the tourists that you see here in uh, in the park are looking for is to come see the, the glass beach but it's an interesting history as a as a beach that has become a destination because it used to be a dump go figure this is uh, dump site number one uh, it has a, a, a quite a bit of glass here I hope the uh, GoPro is seeing a lot of the white bottles and some green bottles. It's like a beer bottle. The colors you get, uh, the colors you get here are sort of, uh, you know, you can kind of see this is like a, a Pepsi bottle. This would be like a Seven Up bottle, and then uh, your beer bottles. So you get those are your uh, main colors that you find here on the beach. Beautiful sunny day, a lot of photographers, treasure hunters. Whew. The state the state park is here has done a beautiful job of preserving some of this glass from Glass Beach in park benches and in sidewalks here. You can see they've got they've got some of that in this little bench here. This little bench, look how cute this is. Here's this little bench overlooking the shoreline, completely private. Just a nice little place to sit and meditate and breathe and enjoy life. Man, it's been a nice little visit here to uh, Fort Bragg. I'm hoping to uh, spend the night boondocking right here by the Lumber Company one more night and then uh, heading my way out of town. Uh, it's just late in the day, it's already five o'clock. I hate paying for a campground for a whole day. I gotta get out of there at noon tomorrow, so. Uh, this has just been beautiful here. I've been staying here until the evening. Today I've got some uh, t extra sharp cheddar Tillamook and my favorite Milton, whoops. My favorite Milton of everything cracker, Tillamook sharp cheddar, and just carrots. Just munching on some carrots. Uh, try to get as many vegetables in you as you can. Uh, nice little story here. I'm here at the skunk train. There's the depot. There's the train. And uh, just reading about the uh, stories here of how one woman hung up a sign outside of her house that read, Save Old Growth. And people on the skunk train would see it. And eventually more women joined her, more people joined her. And for 30 years, that's how long it takes to get people's attention, 30 years. So if you progressives out there, keep that in mind. In the end, the trees won. And they managed to save 426 acres or nearly a third of the old growth redwoods uh, were purchased and from the lumber company and uh, 
preserved for all time. And the skunk train has been part of that history. The train that ran from uh, Fort Bragg here to uh, Homer Hayward Whistle Stop on the Willets. Nobody surfing that. Okay, somebody I'm sure would be crazy enough to surf that, but. Rational human beings. You wanna be on camera? Wow, you're super friendly. <laughs> I don't have anything. I don't have any food for you. But I love how friendly you are. <laughs> <laughs>